broadcasting live for Dallas, Fort Worth, and all North Texas. The news station. This is Fox 4 News at 9. A stormy day in North Texas. At least one tornado touched down in East Texas. Coming up, a damage report and which counties are still under a tornado watch. Victims from a Minnesota school shooting were airlifted to area hospitals. A student went on a rampage on and off campus, killing 10 students and adults. Why a North Texas mother says a federal judge's decision in the Terry Schiavo case could have a direct impact on her. I figured he's a goner because he was Why just a, a little kid. Police searching for the gunman who killed a young man, apparently because the victim was not in a gang. The motive for murder is first on Fox 4. Broadcasting live for Dallas, Fort Worth, and all North Texas. The news station. This is Fox 4 News at 9. A stormy day in North Texas. At least one tornado touched down in East Texas. Coming up, a damage report and which counties are still under a tornado watch. Victims from a Minnesota school shooting were airlifted to area hospitals. A student went on a rampage on and off campus, killing 10 students and adults. Why a North Texas mother says a federal judge's decision in the Terry Schiavo case could have a direct impact on her. I figured he's a goner because he was Why just a, a little kid. Police searching for the gunman who killed a young man, apparently because the victim was not in a gang. The motive for murder is first on Fox 4. A federal judge in Florida is deciding whether to keep a severely brain damaged woman alive. President Bush signed legislation that allowed Terry Schiavo's parents to ask the judge to order the woman's feeding to be reinserted. Fox's Deborah Bowden has the latest. The fate of Terry Schiavo once again in the hands of the courts, this time a federal judge in Tampa. Protesters held signs and carried posters outside the courthouse as the legal showdown inside packed the courtroom. Attorneys for Terry's parents asked for a temporary restraining order to reinsert her feeding tube. It's been three days now since it was removed. This is the life of their daughter. And they are sitting there saying, please, 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 we don't want our daughter to die this way. This is a case about, an, about individual liberty, the right to make a personal choice. This latest court battle comes on the heels of unprecedented congressional action. The House passing an extraordinary law in the middle of the night, one that now allows the federal court to intervene. We will just remain prayerful uh, that the court understands uh, that Terry may not be alive even tomorrow. I mean, we're in that type of situation. But attorneys for Terry's husband, Michael, argue the law is unconstitutional, calling it an outrage. They argue that the brain-damaged woman never wanted to live in a vegetative state. This is not a political decision. This was her decision that was fairly and faithfully adjudicated by the courts. Outside the hospice where Terry is cared for, a growing protest with passionate views on both sides of the issue. We want Terry to be able to live. Uh, we believe her life is precious, and so we're hoping that uh, justice will be done. Nineteen judges already ruled on this, and Congress is poking its nose in where it doesn't belong. Now, people on both sides of this struggle over Terry's life and death are waiting to hear exactly what this judge will decide. In Tampa, Deborah Bowden, Fox News. The Shivo legal drama is being watched by millions of people, including one North Texan who has a vested interest in this case. Fox 4's Sean Rabb is in our Dallas newsroom tonight with her story. Sean. Steve, Marianne Neville is actively involved now in the fight to keep Terry Shivo alive. She followed Shivo's story for years, and as you will see, she, better than most deciding Shivo's fate, perhaps, understands what Terry Shivo's parents are feeling. Hi. Oh. Hey, hi. Who's here? Marianne Neville is a kindred spirit with the parents of Terry Schiavo. Huh? What do you think? Marianne Neville has an eight-year-old daughter, Ashley, who, like Schiavo, lives with the assistance of a feeding tube. The little girl born with hydroencephaly. And that means she was born missing most of her brain. She has her brain stem, and she has part of her cerebellum. Ashley, though, is not Marianne Neville's only nexus to the Schiavo situation. This is three-year-old Savannah, born 26 weeks premature. Severe brain damage, her birthmark. Marianne says she's glad Congress and President Bush got involved in the Shivos case to try and preserve life. When they actually physically took it out, I knew right then that something drastic had to happen. So Marianne sat down at her computer and began emailing this letter to lawmakers across the country and anyone else she could think of, including Fox 4. 
She's fearful that... They're going to let her go, and they're not going to put the feeding tube back in, and they're going to say that she doesn't have a viable life. And then that's going to happen to my daughter. And they're going to come back later on and say, you know, pull this feeding tube. She doesn't need it. She's, she's not responsive. I mean, it's obvious you can see she is. Convinced the federal judge's ruling in the Shivo case will impact the life of her daughters, Mary Ann vows a ruling against Shivo would trickle down, touching her family. No She's prepared way. to fight huh. to keep her daughter's feeding tubes in. I would. I would. I would fight as much as I could. I've sent... So what do your neighbors think about the Shivo case? Well, polls out this evening show most Americans feel lawmakers inappropriately intervened in the Terry Shivo matter. Most agree with the Florida judge's decision to remove the feeding tube, beginning the process that would end Terry Schiavo's life. Sean Rabb, Fox 4 News. Life or death fight over a brain-damaged Florida woman took another turn today. A federal judge is now weighing the fate of Terry Schiavo after the President of the United States and the Congress took extraordinary steps today to push the case back into court. Heart failure and brain damage have left Terry Schiavo incapacitated for 15 years. She has been diagnosed as being in a persistent vegetative state. She depends on a feeding tube to live. That tube was disconnected on Friday. Her parents and siblings want it reconnected. If you would see Terry, you would see absolutely uh, how alive she is, how alert she is, how much she responds. Her feeding tube has been reconnected twice since 1990. In numerous hearings in state court, her husband's decision to have the source of nourishment removed has been upheld. In an extraordinary move, Congress stepped in last Friday. Then Monday morning, lawmakers passed legislation, putting the case back in front of a federal judge. President Bush got out of bed to sign the bill. She's being denied basic, basic, basic medical and personal care. But some Democrats say Congress is out of line. It's not the role of Congress to substitute its judgment because they don't like the result. Terry Schiavo's husband maintains she told him she would choose death over a vegetative state. He says the federal government has no right to interfere. This is a sad day for Terry, and it's a sad day for every American in this country. And people should be outraged. And while in Arizona today, President Bush, speaking about the Shivo case, said, and these are his exact words, in extraordinary circumstances like this, it is wise to always err on the side of life. While both the President and Congress are keeping close watch on the legal battle over Terry Shivo, here in North Texas, that case hits close to home for a woman whose daughters are incapacitated. Fox 4's Sean Rabb is in the newsroom with more on why this woman is concerned about the ruling, Sean. Clarice, Mary Ann Neville is concerned that the Florida federal judge's ruling will become the new law of the land, and that law, she worries, could impact her children. So when they actually physically took it out, I knew right then that something drastic had to happen. Mary Ann Neville says she could not sit by and do nothing after learning Terry Schiavo's feeding tube had been removed. So she sat down and began emailing everyone she could think of. Her reasons for raising her voice in this fray are personal, her children. You just like to snuggle, by me. Mary Ann is mother to three-year-old Savannah and eight-year-old Ashley. Both share similarities with Terry Schiavo. They say that Terry Schiavo has brain damage, which Ashley definitely has brain damage. They said that she has um, involuntary movement, which, I mean, you can look at Ashley and they can say she, they've told me she has involuntary movement, but... This is definitely not involuntary. This is definitely responsive, and she responds to us. Mary Ann is pleased President Bush signed legislation attempting to keep Shivo alive. She believes what's happening to the Florida woman now is murder. And Terry has a feeding tube, and, you know, they pulled it out, and now she's starving. And I couldn't imagine doing that to Ashley, just seeing how happy she is. While she holds her daughters, Mary Ann also holds her breath. Fearful of the judge's ruling, reaching out to change how her daughters and others like them are cared for. Could allow the insurance company to say they're not going to pay for this feeding tube. Could allow um, them to say that she's not worth supporting. And, the, you know, and then we'll have the same fight on our hands that Terry Shivo's parents have on their, their hands right now. And if that happens, Marianne Neville says she will fight with all she has to keep her children's lives as they are today. In the newsroom, Sean Rabb, Fox 4 News.